Hello, MattRule64 out here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 2. Last time we finished... Uh -huh. I'm learning, slowly learning new things about this game. Does anyone know what's the point of that platform there? I've only just noticed it, actually. It doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Then again, I could say the same thing about this one. What's the point of that one? Huh. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. Last time we let off, we finished Emerald Hill, and now we're going through Chemical Plant. We got six emeralds. Probably going to get the oh, whoops, the last one in this episode. Hopefully, in our dear world. But that'll be in Act Two because Act One is of Chemical Plant. It's actually a pretty short level. There's... I don't think there's any checkpoints. I've actually never seen one in this level. Never seen one. So as a result, it's very easy to get. But that said, they do line the path along with rings. So it's very easy to get an extra life here. Unfortunately, because I got hit, I think I'm unfortunately unable to get one. Oh wells. I'll get at least getting a continue from this, hopefully. And there we go. And you must have to, have to get at least over a 60 rings in. Because I always thought you had to get at least 50. But I remember last time we played through, last time I did that, I think it was during this, during this LP? I can't remember. I actually can't remember if I did or not. So anyway, this is Act 2. This is what one... This level is actually the first level where water appears. And water is the bane to anyone's ex any Sonic player's existence. Although, thankfully, some of the more watery zones in Sonic in Sonic games aren't bad once you're used to them, unless it's uh, unless you're playing Sonic Blast, by which. Uh, that one level, I can't remember its name, but I revile it. What the? Seriously? Right, I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. Finishing Act 1. I want to cover, I'll cover most of Act 2 again. Because, just in case I end up going another path. Because there is multiple paths in Act 2. But any, anyway, I was saying, is that probably the worst water level in Sonic's history is uh, Sonic Blue Marine in Sonic Blast. That's a level that you probably never get used to. At least I can't get used to it. Still don't know how you... I just... Hydra City got on screw attacks. This are worse what levels, and yes, I am still going on about that because seriously, that is still an injustice. I mean, come on, Hydra City isn't even a bad level for God's sakes. The only reason is because of that damn uh, counter thing. I go, you know, that one that with the really creepy music. That's practically nearly every song in the game. Yeah, that is creepy, but you can't really just single out once. Oh, hello there. But yeah, it is creepy. True, and it scares everyone. But you can't just single out one zone just because of something that's appeared in multiple Sonic games. Honestly. And yeah, it's the second level in the game, but it's really easy. And I think I screwed this up already. But anyway, this is the last one. This is where I 
my whole complaint of things coming out of nowhere really shows. Well, we're, I think we're probably going to be here for a really long time, failing. I might as well start talking about Sonic Lost Worlds. I played the 3DS version. It's pretty good, actually. Although, if I get the Wii U version, if I eventually get a Wii U and play the Wii U version, I might find that I might say, oh hey, the 3DS version wasn't that good. So my opinions may change on that. But so far, the 3DS version is not bad. Honestly. It's not bad. Definitely not. Oh. And I think I screwed this one up already. Yeah. Although I did have trouble during Tropical uh, Resort. What was it called that? I did have trouble on that level. The, at least Axe 1. Mostly because there was a 2D section where it, underwater that. Oh, fuck. That you. I really wasn't. It's not really clear where you need to go. And you had to go up, I think, using the Jewel Wisp, and it just really wasn't clear enough, and it was just really confusing. So I kind of didn't join myself on that level. Ah. Oh. Is it funny I've just made the same mistake about three times in a row? Pretty sure I mem remember this before, but for the most part, re memorization isn't my strong suit. But I can still keep talking. But that said, I played. I got also. Oh, Super Mario Bros. 2, and a lot of people really hate that game. Honestly, I actually quite enjoyed it. In fact, I played it. I've actually played it a lot more. Oh, I hate this bloody ring formation. I played it a lot more than Sonic Lost World. And I didn't think I would. Oh, hello there. Is that's it, yeah, it's not as innovative as other Mario games, but honestly it's not that lazy. Honest to god, it really isn't that lazy of a game. A lot of people just blow that way out of proportion. Yes, I censorship! Uh, no, but no seriousness. Uh, but no seriousness. You should really see the comments about the recent revelation of the a little bit of censorship in uh, the new that new bravely default game. Apparently, people are not buying it, are refusing to buy it because of that. Because of one my little thing of censorship, just because someone's panties was changed to short swords, short shorts in one one of their costumes. Uh, now yes, Sen it's pointless censorship, true. But honest to God, do you really need to boycott a game over something that's not really going to affect the game in the first place? I mean, you're still getting your money's worth. Yeah, you're still getting your money's worth from it. It's just that your, just that one co character's costume is slightly changed, and someone had to go to say, "Oh, let's remove content." No, someone's pan. It's just a change of panties to a fucking short sword. You melon. That comment really pissed me off. Sorry, but no seriousness. And I thought the whole Fodger in a bikini debacle was dumb. Because it was censored from Fire em in Fire Emblem Awakening. There was a DLC CG in a DLC that was censored. And people were getting pissy about that. Despite the fact that it's in DLC and you don't have to buy the DLC. Yeah. That's it, Owens. We can now become Supersonic. I'm sorry if that contained, can't contain a little fail, but the fail was actually pretty convenient. 
because I can keep talking. And I swear, this game is acting really odd to me. But anyway, the whole, like yeah, it's point of censorship, true, that is true, I will give you that, but for any game under a bus, for any game that you're really excited for under a bus, but for something that's not really going to affect gameplay all that much, that's, an, that's just boycotting for a really stupid reason, and I think gamers nowadays, I think people are being a little trick happy with the whole boycott threat. Honestly odd. Oh shit. I mean come on, it didn't work for people for the Sonic fans, so I don't really see how it should work for any other company, to be honest. Then again, the Sonic fanboys ones was one was really dumb bloody dumb in the first place. I mean, after all, you're buying Sonic 1 on, whatchamacallit, on Xbox Live or something like, of that regard. So you're still paying Sega money anyway. So that's not really how a boycott works anyway, but that's not really my point. But, well. But honestly, when I read that, I was pissed off. Ah! God, I am just sucking today. I just really am. I just don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I think that whole glitch I had earlier threw me off. Then again, it's ha then again, I wonder if I do another LP, I'll run into a glitch I've never bumped into before. I mean, it. I mean, in Cur when I LP'd Kirby Superstar. I'm not sure if anyone watching it seen that LP, but in one top point during Dino Blade, I like managed to run into a lockup glitch. Well, pretend that never happens. I ran into a lockup glitch where I got off wheelie and well, I somehow managed to get on wheelie and dispel him at the same time, and Kirby ended up getting flying straight into the air. And just got stuck there. And wouldn't respond to any of my button presses. It was quite a bizarre moment. But of course, here comes the LP curse from Throws. That's probably why I've been sucking them quite a few times. And that is how you kill the boss in style. Oh yeah. No, scratch that. We'll do that again. Oh yeah. There we go. That's even better. Oh, but anyway, that's it for this episode of Sonic 2. Next time, we're going to do Aquatic Ruin. See ya.